this group has worked very hard today to bring this presentation to you. You're going to encounter some really awesome things, artwork, original artwork, songs, um, and we're going to start this off with a documentary created by our own Juan Montalavo, who is one of our spring 2020 RTF graduates. So turn up your volume, sit back and relax and enjoy this documentary. Once the documentary is over, Juan will explain the reasoning behind his documentary. Please enjoy. And please let me know if you can't hear it or something, okay? Nope, sorry, that didn't work. What is going on? president of Access Autism. Um, when I first met Samantha, I was meeting with my assigned advisor for my area of study here at ACC for the first time. Um, and I started seeing all of these autism related things around her office. And of course, naturally, as the oversharer I am, I said, oh, I have autism. And her next response was, oh, I'm an autism specialist. And the conversation just kind of grew from there. She started telling me about the work that she does with students here on campus and how um, she had this idea for this group and all of these things. And yeah, it just kind of blossomed. That's such a cute guitar. It's so Hi. small. My name is Miles Jackson. I am 22 years old. I was interested in Access Autism because of all the resources that I knew it would provide and just knowing that I could be a part of an organization specifically for people on the autism spectrum, it would be very beneficial to me. I'm Ivan Millsap, I'm 19, and I'm the Vice President of Access Autism. This group will help me with socializing when I'm out of school. And I've been learning more social skills that I can use outside of the environment. I recently had the role of reaching out to the ACC work resources that we have here um, and communicating and asking if they would like to be a vendor, if they would like to table at the Autism Awareness event.
you got them all right. Oh, nice. You're the second person to do that. Uh, my name is Samantha Thompson. Um, I am the advisor for Access Autism, a student-led organization. Um, I am the person that had kind of the idea about this organization and helped start the organization with the students uh, in mind with what I thought would be a pretty good idea for um, the individuals with autism getting together and building relationships uh, in a group. That being said, yes. We should draw up kind of like a small book, like a, or a manual, like a crash course for student accommodations in ACC I for agree. not That's just, a really good idea. Not just for us. I, I mean, we could get, I mean, we could get together and write that. But, write but that I think that it had to be done Thank for pretty you. much everybody since last time I saw SAS, or pretty much all the time I've gone in there. I am literally the only person there members of this organization were always looking for members to, to move up into positions too mm -hmm. as leaders and we wanted we want that we want that for our members to move up and become leaders so know that and also part of that is volunteering Go, coming forward showing your peer support and showing leadership skills and, and showing us that you want that too. We can't just go, oh yeah, you make a great leader. Well, you have to kind of show that you're going to be a good leader. You know, ACC is moving in a, a good direction to support these students. Um, so I think this is kind of the first step um, in raising awareness. And, you know, I, I congratulate ACC for actually allowing, you know, opening the box a little bit to be a little more open you know, and allowing students to, to feel open about it. Um, it makes it a good place to work so that uh, students, working with students and seeing that they feel good and supported. Um, it, like I said, it, it just feels good to work for somebody like that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So hopefully it'll keep moving in that direction and there'll be more supports offered um, even further down the road. Sorry about that. So that was um, the documentary that Miles, or not Miles, Juan uh, created for um, his final project here at ACC. And so I'm gonna let Juan talk a little bit about this and what inspired him to make a documentary um, on this particular subject. So Juan, take it away. Hello everyone, I'm Juan Montalvo. And uh, yeah, as Samantha just said, uh, I created this documentary uh, primarily as a way uh, to do one of my final projects for one of the final classes I had for my graduating semester. Uh, and the only requirements were that I make a documentary about someone or something. And uh, I had known about Access Autism uh, the previous semester in fall 2019, and it sounded interesting. Uh, because I've, uh, I've known I've been autistic since I was 12, but I never, or as far as I'm aware, I never had any close friends, relatives who have autism. So I thought, oh, let me see how this group works and let me meet other autistic people. And so uh, while I was filming a documentary, I also got to know a lot of these people and uh, I had a great time. And uh, I was pleasantly surprised by how cooperative everyone was uh, because uh, again, the as a student film crew, it was very small. It was me, a cameraman and uh, some people who are managing the audio, like microphones and things like that. But nonetheless, it you still, you know, you need to arrange things. You need to ask people to uh, be in certain areas. Uh, so because of that, I realized, okay, I'm uh, asking, people to sort of change up their routine. And, and so, uh, you know, I understood if, if maybe a few people weren't, uh, you know, comfortable doing that, but to my surprise, everyone uh, was okay with it. And uh, an even more pleasant surprise was that uh, everyone was just so natural. Uh, once we started filming, 
I noticed that people were not looking at the camera, the, you know, things like that. Uh, people are just doing their usual thing. So that was, again, another pleasant surprise. And uh, even after I was done with the documentary, I'm still a member of this group uh, uh, because, uh, again, I was just so impressed by everyone and I enjoyed the socialization. Uh, so, yeah, it, it was a great time. I'm happy with the way the project turned out. Uh, of course, uh, given what happened with COVID, there were certain things I, uh, I couldn't do, like let's say get some more footage if I needed it. But uh, what I did have uh, was essentially great. So uh, I was, I'm very grateful that the group allowed me to uh, film them for my project. And I'm also very happy that uh, I was able to more or less create the documentary I wanted to create, uh, especially given the conditions we were under. And uh, uh, again, I'm, I'm so glad that everyone was able to watch it. Thank you, Juan, for sharing that with us. Um, so later on, we'll have a Q&A panel, or we have some Q&A as we go through. So if you have questions for Juan, you can also post them in the chat. Um, and just, uh, you know, I think this was a great uh, project for Juan to do.